Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a line plot. Now, if you don't know, a line plot is a type of graph that uses a number line in order to help us display data. So on your screen there, we're going to go through this situation and create a line plot together. So this situation involves whole numbers. I'll follow up this line plot video with a line plot video that involves fractions. I'll drop that link down in the description. But for now, we're just going to work with whole numbers in this example. So let's take a look at the situation. A group of students were surveyed about the number of pets they have at home. The results are below. Create a line plot to display the data. So here are the survey results. Now it's all out of order. So the first thing I would suggest doing is putting the data in order from least to greatest. That way it keeps us a little more organized throughout our process of creating this line plot. So let's start with zero. And it looks like we have one here and then one here, so two zeros. And I'm crossing them off as I go along. That way I don't repeat anything or leave anything out. And then ones, I have one, uh, two here. So two ones. As far as twos go, looks like I have a few. One, two, three, and actually four twos. How many threes? Well, one here and one here. So that's two threes. We have a four. It does not look like we have any fives. And then we have a six, which is our largest number within that uh, set of data. So now that we have it in order from least to greatest, we are ready to create our line plot. Now here's our number line below, but there are no numbers um, shown or attached to this number line. So we need to figure out which numbers to use. So let's take a look at our least number, what, what our smallest number or least valued number is of our data set. Well, it's zero. So we at least need to include that in our number line. And our greatest valued piece of data is six. So we need to make sure we have a zero and a six. So let's start with zero. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that number line will include all of our data results. Now you don't need a number line that counts up to 20. That would be unnecessary for the data we have. And you also don't want a number line that only goes up to four because you would not include some of the data that you need to have on your uh, line plot. So it's very important to think about your number line and what you need to include uh, when you're setting up your line plot. So again, we started with zero because that was the smallest number in value that we have. And we ended with six because that was the largest number in value. At the bottom of my line plot, I put number of pets right here. That tells us, or whoever's looking at this line plot, what those numbers mean below. And then I also have a title up top here that tells what the line plot is about, number of pets students have. So again, at the bottom, the label tells me what the numbers mean on my number line. And then up top is the title of my line plot. So now we're ready to create our line plot here and we're going to use X's for a line plot. So let's take a look at our zero first. How many students have zero pets at home? 
Well, two. So we need to draw two X's and that represents the two students that have zero pets at home. Now, all your X's on this line, pl line plot should be around the same size, okay? And they should be pretty well lined up as we go through. And you'll see what I mean as I do number one here. So how many students have one pet at home? Well, two. See how, see how I'm starting off my X evenly with the first X from zero? So they are both the same height, right? Because zero and one both have two um, students that have either zero or one pet at home. So they should be about the same size, which they are. How many students have two pets? Well, one, two, three, four. So we need four X's to represent those four students. One, two, three, four. Then we check how many students have three pets. One, two. How many students have four pets? One. How many students have five? None. So we do not put anything above that five. And then one student has six pets. Now that line plot includes all of our students and all of the data that we need to include. So we would be done. We have a title and we also labeled what the numbers mean on the bottom of our number line. So here we would be done with this line plot. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.